Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy on the game eight seven zero back with another banger. As you can see, I got Demarcus Ware, and I know I said I wasn't going to get him. My business, my business. Um, I'm playing a Patriots team team. Obviously, he has three Patriots up top. Um, ninety eight Tom Brady. So I'm already knowing that it won't be the quarterback's problem. Let me start off this whole game play by reminding you all about that laughed at me. When I was coming up and playing Madden, I used to play, uh, I used to be a great defensive line user, right? I would get on a defensive end, loop around your tackle and your guard and get your quarterback like that. And Madden 21 kind of put in things that you couldn't do that. You could not do that as my opponent gets a one-yard run on first down. Well, here's the thing. It's back, and it's back with a vengeance. Like, if you are a defensive line user, you could create a lot of pressure really quickly. That pass right there told me it's going to be a long game for bruh because you threw that ball? Okay. You're going to have problems. But, um... As we started to play this game, and he, I realized that my opponent has a real limited amount of football knowledge. But I respect him because he's not running cheese. He's, he's trying to come up with an innovative way to play on offense. Um, he could be running cheese. He could be running, you know, everybody on corner routes. One of y'all will be open. He could be running that, but he's not. So I respect his game plan. I respect his effort. Um, he's coming out on second and one here. And he, well, another thing I can, he, he's probably doing coach suggestions because he's calling different formations almost every play. Now that I think about it, um, very different formations, and they're coming up quick. Like, it's instant almost. So I'm like, okay, he probably is in coach suggestions, which is cool, you know, because sometimes you get bogged down with trying to just focus on a certain thing while you're playing the game, and you're like, man, I forgot all about that play and that play, and I could probably do this to, 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 to penetrate the defense and all that kind of but, you know, it's only so long before we can catch up to you. Brian Dawkins comes up from his safety spot and gets an interception. And it was nasty. It was a nasty one, too. It was a – oh, it was a filthy one. Brian Dawkins, is, he, he built like that. Now, this is what – this the first play. Um, oh, y'all didn't know it. But I'm back to a pure Broncos theme team. Not pure. I still have Derwin James and Warren Sapp and Lance Allworth probably going to get. I need to get Devin Hester back. That's what I need to do. Uh, no, I'm, but you, as you can see, though, he loops around the same way I used to. And I recognized it. I was like, wait a minute. He stole my move. But. Anytime somebody's playing like that, there's literally nothing you can do unless you're going to run the ball. Like, you you won't have any time. There will be no time. You, you, you literally are going to have to hurry up and get the ball out of your hand. Crossing routes don't, I mean, not crossing routes. Well, yeah, mesh routes don't, don't work. None of that stuff works. You have to quickly, you either have to run, or throw little out routes. You don't have time to do much of anything against someone who's user in the defensive line like that. Um, this guy, what I'm probably going to end up, I'm probably going to end up going back to Peyton. Tebow can run, but what I don't like about Tebow is when he's throwing a deep pass, it doesn't get down. Like it stays in the air forever. And I hate that. Like, I want the ball to come on and get down so I can make um, 
So I can take advantage of it, you know? But my my man my man here is not taking advantage of what he needs to take advantage of. So first quarter ends in a zero to zero tie. Because I I'm I'm not gonna waste my time trying to drop back and pass, and I'm already knowing he go he just go wrap around my defensive end. And here's the here's the beautiful part about this. Edge protect edge protector don't even work against that. Like it's simply that that's not that's not programmed in to be blocked by the computer. The computer is just gonna do what he does. He he was getting around that time. Now that's the reason why I like Tebow. Tebow can make that happen. So it's a catch twenty two. It's a Tebow can run. Well, we're not gonna score, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. It's no point in, in wasting your time with that. We kicked the field goal. Kicked the field goal. And as you all always know with me, nothing happens special on special teams. <clears throat> but again, I think this guy is running coach suggestions, though. Because as you, he, these plays are just too different. they just too different, you know. But it is what it is. It's too many, too many warning. And nothing popped up, nothing special. And I know some of y'all are like, how in the world you, got a, you set a record? And ain't nothing popping off. Like, ain't nothing going on right now. It's coming. It's coming. Um, Patrick Sertan picks him off here. I don't know what made him think Yano Smith was going to be able to get open with Patrick Sertan in the neighborhood. Patrick Sertan is too fast for that. Um, again, I, didn't, I hadn't learned my lesson. You don't have time to do anything. You don't have time to do anything. And so his game plan is pretty much predicated on getting to the quarterback really quickly. And I don't blame him because it works. It it really works, um, as, as you can see. And that was with Seymour. So this guy's defense is, is different. That's what makes it difficult to adjust to. It's, it's just one of those defenses that um, you don't face very often. So it's it's kind of, he loved going to Amendola over the middle. And that's so disrespectful. But it's kind of one of those things where you have to, you got to get the ball out of your hands quickly. And this guy just, he's real disrespectful. He's real disrespectful. But it's cool. Let me borrow that right quick. Bradley Chubb with the Oski. Bradley Chubb with the Oski. And Bradley Chubb is fast enough to take it to the crib. I'm probably going to end up changing out some player positions. Um, I have Chubb, Ware, and Miller. I also have Malik Jackson, but Malik Jackson ain't making no plays. So I'm thinking about going ahead and just yanking Malik Jackson and putting in Von Miller in that position and have all three of them on the defensive line and just letting them go. If Vaughn Miller can get inside stuff for 2AP, that's what that's what I'd do. That's what I would do. Um, hopefully he can get inside stuff for 2AP. Because Malik Jackson, is he's, he's not making a difference. And if, if I got you in the game, I want you to mess up some stuff. I want you to, to, to have some people upset that you're in the game. Anyway... Um, again, I, I knew that was coming. Tyler Law catches the ball, and he runs it back. Uh, now, I'll be honest with you. At this point in the game, I'm like, I don't even want to play offense no more because I know you can't score on me. Your offense is very basic right now. So I'm like, yeah, I ain't, I ain't too concerned about you scoring. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is just making sure I'm going to drain the clock out. Um, boring offensive drive here. We didn't do anything spectacular. We got the first. Uh, but, yeah, I'm focusing on, at this point, we punt it. We punt it. These are the kind of games that this guy has a very Dominant defensive scheme. 
because his defense completely changed the complexion of the game. This game was supposed to – y'all know I've been passing recently. Winning Super Bowls passing. Y'all know I've been, I've been passing the ball. So I had no intention on coming into this game passing. I mean running. It was like, all right, well, I'm just going to pass the ball. But this guy's defense made it where I had to do something different. Um, again, I'm thinking that we run in co-suggestions. There's no continuity in these play calls. And see how quick it is? That, that's, this is the same um, formation, I believe. But it's just so fast. So I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking that my man is running – Coach suggestions the entire game, which is cool. I ain't mad at him. You know, it is what it is. But um, one thing I am learning about him, too, he is not changing things up. He went right back to the same play. Bradley Chubb was right there. Well, not necessarily the same play, but he went to the same area. And I got a little disrespectful right here. I got a little bit disrespectful. I was like, you know what? I'm I'm done. I kick you, I'm kicking a field goal. I'm going to give you the ball back because you obviously can't do anything with it. You can't do anything. And that should have been mine. This guy is just, honestly, he probably is a, is a runner. He's probably one of those guys that plays the game like, all right, I'm just going to run the ball. But um, he decided that, okay, I need to learn how to pass. So I could probably try to get ready for weekend league like me. I, I haven't played a game of weekend league all year. And it's because I know I'm not at that level yet. Uh, that should have been mine. But, again, I, I missed it. It's cool. It's cool. He tried to go back, but I put DeMarcus Ware out in uh, coverage. So there was nothing that he was going to be able to do. Well, I'm talking bad about the man. And Malik Jackson gets through and gets the sack. Maybe I need to leave him alone. Maybe I need to leave him alone. Um, but, yeah, we – why does he keep going to that same place? I ain't, I ain't mad. It's just like, dude, it, it's not open. And he goes for certain, certain. It's like, nope, no sir, don't do it again. Again, I'm getting a little disrespectful. I'm not. It's not toxic. It's just like, hey, bro, I want to see your offense do something because I don't, I, I don't think his offense has done anything all game. And again, he goes back to the same area of the field. I don't know who told him that, hey, man, you need to throw the ball towards the middle of the field. But um, he thinks that it's a good idea. So we're going to let him keep on trying it. Comes out with a screen here. That's different. Usually I read screens, but he hadn't run one all game. So I didn't even think to look for one. Again, he wants to go back to the middle of the field, but we were there. And again, yeah, kick a field goal. Kick another field goal. We, at this point in the game, that man Tom Brady has completed more passes to me than his own team. I believe that's true. I believe that's true. I don't know. I don't know. But we we are making him have a really rough day today. He's probably going to have a little PTSD after this game because he's he's not able to do anything. Wait a minute. That, that just told me. At this point in the game, all right, he's 8 for 18 with seven interceptions. Eight for 18, 75 yards, seven interceptions. So that pass that he just completed put him over the top. We were tied. We were tied. Um, here he goes again, and we are officially tied again. Eight for 18, 75 yards, eight interceptions. 
eight interceptions. And those of you who are football enthusiasts, can you tell me who the quarterback is in the in the comment section that threw eight interceptions in the game? Can you tell me the quarterback in the, who threw eight interceptions in the NFL game? Can you put that in the comment section for me? Whoever that quarterback is, Tom Brady just tied the record. Tom Brady, Tom Brady just tied the record. So Tom Brady breaks a record against the best Broncos theme team in Madden 22. I know it didn't go the way that you thought it would. <laughs> Peace out. Be blessed.